Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have a special video uh, and this is an update to the apply accessory script. There are some new features and some of the existing functionality has been improved so stick around to see all of those updates. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the github page I have linked in the description below and download the newest release. In the case of this video the newest release is version 1.1.1 but it should be whatever is at the top of this page. You're just going to want to click on this link that says .unity package and you should be able to download your Unity package below. Alright, now that we're in Unity, you're going to want to open the window. In this case, go to Window and Apply Accessories and you'll see the Apply Accessories window. Uh, instead of the Add Component uh, sort of thing that we had before, you now have an actual editor script which means that this script also no longer has to be deleted before you upload or before you play the game or press this play button up here. So the first thing you're going to want to do or can do if you want to is you can just dock this window somewhere. I'll just dock it on the right hand side because that's easiest for me. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag in your avatar into this avatar descriptor right there. Uh, and then you're going to want to take in whatever accessory you're going to want to put it right here in your scene. Uh, and then you can drag the accessory into the slot. Uh, now that it's in that slot, you will be able to open all of these other menus here. And you will recognize some of these options. The first option has actually gone through some changes. Uh, we now have some more ability to change how your menus work. So you can choose to reuse the same menu for all of your toggles, or you can make a toggle based on each individual mesh that belongs to your accessory. In the case that the creator of the accessory that you have bought uh, has included any sort of animations as they have here, you'll see that there is an anims folder here. You can actually click the use custom animations uh, checkbox here and you can use the animations that were included with your avatar. The female blend shape hasn't changed too much. You can use that pretty much the same way you did before. However, now I have a neat little drop down here for selecting the blend shape. And basically what this does is it goes through all the blend shapes attached to all of these skin mesh renderers here and uh, collects them all into the same sort of drop down. So that way, um, if there is any sort of female toggle on any of the other uh, places here, you'll be able to select it neatly and easily. Last but not least, those same changes also are down here in the interactions with other accessory slot. This basically was the associated mesh renderer slot before and you'll see that you can also now select the blend shapes in a drop down menu instead of having to remember the exact text and typing it in. So for the sake of uh, brevity, I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop all my components over here and I'll see you back when that's done. Alright, now that everything is in here as expected, uh, you can just hit the apply changes button and it'll go for a bit and everything will be applied and you'll see that it's applied by clicking on this you'll see that all of your items are right here ready for you to use. One of the best parts of the update is actually that undo works properly. So if I just hit control Z and I go through the unity undo stack, you'll see that everything goes back to normal. And of course you can redo it and put it all back to the way it was before. Undo works for basically everything, including animation controllers, animations, uh, and of course what is in your scene here. Uh, however, if there are any generated animations, so that would be in this folder, uh, they will not uh, be undone. So those will still linger around. Also, still make sure to follow any sort of instructions that are given by the creator of the asset that you're using. Otherwise, you may uh, end up with errors. I did in this case. Um, I've already tested this out inside VRChat and I did see something. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix that quickly. If you do run into issues, uh, just open the animation panel like this uh, and select your avatar and this should automatically change to your avatar and you'll see that when you click on this you get a drop down menu with a bunch of different options uh, including the animations that we just added like tie and waistcoat and stuff like that you'll actually see that if I uh, click on dress shirt there is this missing property right here uh, and if we open that we'll see that it's actually missing hide chest fluff because that's not an option so if I actually click on add property and I go into body and skin mesh render and under blend shapes, if I scroll down uh, all the way to the bottom of the blend shape category, uh, that was the Japanese, no, okay, there we go, here we go. 
So you'll see actually that it's called hide fluff chest, not the other way around. So I can just go ahead and add this and set this to 100 and that will fix it in VRChat for me. Uh, once again, this isn't an issue you would run into if you follow all the directions and it's not an issue you're going to run into if you're uh, just setting up toggles. Uh, and you can leave this here if you want or you can just delete it, it's up to you. Um, if you're running into any more issues like that where something doesn't work properly with uh, animations that were given to you by the creator of the accessory, uh, please contact the creator of the accessory directly. Uh, that's not something I will be able to fix. And or just do some investigative work like I did here and you should be able to fix it yourself. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more asset. So I'm actually going to add on this. Uh, I'll go into here and I will uh, drag everything on as I would expect and in fact here what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose don't reuse bones uh, because sometimes dynamic bones can screw with things it should work anyway so you can always try it with this option disabled first and I recommend that uh, but in the case that it doesn't work try turning this on uh, I'll also turn on reuse menu and I'll turn off custom animations because this doesn't come with any custom animations and I can just select uh, the correct clip here which I already have and I can go and select a uh, expressions menu, in this case I'll select skirt, uh, and I can also uh, make some changes here. So you'll notice in fact that we might not want this fluff in the front and we might not want this in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that there's one accessory that has associated blend shapes. In fact this isn't an accessory, this is the body itself, so you can choose the body. You can say that there are two blend shapes that you want to change and so the first blend shape that you're going to want to change and you're going to want to go all the way down because this is at the very bottom um, for this one at least and you're going to want to choose this one hide fluff chest and you can go all the way down to the bottom yet again and you can select the other one which is flat and tail fluff and now if we hit apply Apply. you'll see everything gets done. Uh, I also made sure to delete the generated animations folder that was there from before. So this was gone and has now been generated and all of your animations are stored here. Um, once again, the undo functionality works for everything but these generated animations. So if you were to undo, these would still be here. However, everything else would be back to its original state. Alright, so welcome to VRChat. Uh, now that you're in VRChat, everything should work as expected. So just open up your menu to wherever your uh, gestures are for this, and you're, you will notice that once you enable all of these, everything should work as expected, as it does with the suit. I can also even go ahead and add on my tie, or my bow tie, to be extra fancy. And everything works quite well. So as you can see, I can also come a little bit closer here and no clipping and whatnot. But I'll just back off a little bit. And this also works for all the auto-generated animations as well. So if I go ahead and I turn on the skirt, oops, that's the shorts. If I go ahead and I turn on the skirt and the top, you'll see that those work as well. And with all the dynamic bones and everything. So um, without further ado, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please let me know anything else that you would like to see in the apply accessory script and or let me know if you're having any problems and I'll try and help out as much as I can. Thanks for watching and goodbye.